lot of the work that's been done on the hall in the last several years has been done with free labor from the trade unions. And we have had a remarkable, wonderful relationship with them. And they've done all different kinds of things, from putting in bathrooms to repairing electricity to painting walls to fixing the floors, all kinds of things, which allowed us to make huge changes that we would never have been able to raise the money to do um, on our own. So it's been a really big and important thing for us, this relationship. So we wanted to say thank you to them and do something special just for them. And I wanted to do a shout out to Art Gaffer, who is the reason that John Palatano came into this hall, am I right? That you introduced him to the hall. And it was because of that introduction that all kinds of things came from that. And I'll let Tom pick up the story from there. And of course, I have to supposed to be standing in front of that, but I'll let you write that. And I'm going to get out. And I'll, f I'll follow the rules. Um, basically, when I was first elected to the board about five years ago, we looked at the financials and realized that it was uh, a challenge. We weren't making enough money to survive. We had a lot of deferred maintenance and things of that sort. So we were looking for ways of uh, solving that problem. And one of them, and the most obvious, was to open up these venues for, uh, for rental. This particular venue had been closed to the public in 1943 when they refused to change their fire escape uh, to, the, um, to meet the demands of the city. So this space was underutilized and it was used as a photography studio and other things for, for um, you know, 70 years. So the first thing we did is we uh, try to determine what we needed to do in order to make this space become rentable. So uh, the board approved a, uh, hired a life safety code expert who came in and did an analysis and identified seven or eight things that we needed to do in order to, um, in order to meet life safety code uh, requirements so we could have public assembly. And so we did that. Uh, and with Acorn Production, uh, we raised uh, $35,000, which, and we spent 17 of which uh, to do all these life safety code upgrades. And um, so in, on March 5th of 2015, we had a, a gala grand opening here, which was very successful, and uh, we, had a, we had a great time. And shortly after that, Acorn had its first event, and they're a theater and they have theater lights and all of those types of things and we ended up blowing all of the circuits in the building because we didn't have enough capacity to handle theater lights and sh shortly after that i was a, i made a presentation to the southern maine labor council about another matter um, again trying to raise some money and I was approached by Don Barry, who was the business agent of the uh, IBEW, the Electrical Workers Union, who said, you know, we have apprentices and we're looking for projects that we can put apprentices in, um, you know, t as part of their community service and as also as part of their training. And there's not a lot of historic buildings that we find that we can put these apprentices to. And so I told him that we had a really great deal for him. And so the apprentices came in here, and we had originally about five outlets in this room. They came in and added another dozen outlets on two different circuits that allowed us to meet our demands for theater lighting. They also, uh, you probably can't see it, but they built a portable, 100 amp portable sub panel that on wheels so that we can move that around the room as needed in order to, again, meet uh, the electrical demands of whoever the particular tenant is. So during that conversation, um, right after that, in fact, we had, we had a, uh, um, Casco Bay High School had a senior prom here. And at the time that we received the approval to for public assembly, we had one restroom for the room, and it was on an eight inch step. So during the senior prom, we had a, a line of people that came out the door waiting to use the restroom. 
And so obviously that's a major issue for us. And um, I mentioned this to Alan Shepard from the IBEW, the, the apprentice uh, instructor. And he suggested that I contact John Napolitano, who was already familiar with the building because of art. And John indicated that they were looking for a project where all of the trades could get together and work in, to kind of show some solidarity, but also uh, to, to satisfy their community service requirements and needs. And so we talked to them and they agreed to build us four bathrooms. Which, so we've got four restrooms courtesy of the labor and a lot of the donated materials. And part of that $35,000 that we raised, we had a little bit extra money that we were able to contribute as well. So the result of that was now we had four restrooms and another dozen outlets. So we kind of satisfied the needs in this particular space. But the opportunity continued and um, we had a tenant downstairs uh, the, the Bible Society, and they were, they had um, uh, left after uh, s several years, so we had a, a, a vacant space, and the Trade Council, because of the work they had done, we had agreed to let them have uh, monthly meetings here, so we, they were having a monthly meeting, and I was downstairs putting a sign on the, on the, on the outside of the building saying, office for rent, and John Napolitano came in and said, you know, we'll take that office. So in a matter of about 15 minutes, we had rented that space. And they are now a tenant, and they've just signed another lease, and we're uh, very happy to have them as part of, uh, a part of the, the hall um, uh, occupants. So, the, the, um, so now we have the Main State Building Construction Trade Council as a tenant. We've got this uh, facility up here that's used. We have uh, restrooms. And we started looking around the building to see what other else could, uh, may needed uh, projects that needed addressing. And the first one was the classroom, which had very inadequate lighting. And so the electrical unions came in and they replaced all of the lights and put some spotlights and some overhead lights that worked out terrific. Um, and then we, they also did some work in the library and rewired a couple of the closets and some of the things that we needed, we needed done down there. Um, and then we were talking to John and he kept looking at our, our, uh, our hallway and the 30 year old commercial carpet that we had that smelled and said, you know, you guys really ought to just replace this. And I said, well, that'd be great, you know, we, we just don't have the resources. And so they ended up funding the cost of the removal of the old uh, carpet and pay, uh, paying the uh, uh, company that uh, did the refinish, uh, the refinish of the work. And what you see is what we have now. We have, uh, you know, these beautiful floors that are 170 years old and really were protected for a long time because of these crappy carpets we had. But they're in good shape now. And so when, when that was done, then um, we looked at the hallways and realized that the hallways hadn't been touched in probably 20 years. And we, um, we approached the uh, uh, painters union and they came in and painted the walls and the ceilings and, and, and so on and so forth. So that is basically, and they, and they continue to work for us and do projects as necessary. And whenever I have a need, I'll call uh, Jason or John or some of the trades, and they will come in and, and help us out. I mean, they've contributed uh, material. Uh, they've given us uh, table dollies, chairs, um, of a whole variety of things. So we're very pleased to have them as a tenant. And, and as part of that, we want to uh, recognize them with this plaque. And I'm not sure which, who should I re give this plaque to, but I'll let you figure out, Jason, who you want to receive this. I guess on behalf of the Maine Charitable Mechanics Association, I will present you this plaque in recognition for all of the, the good things that you've done for us. And uh, we're delighted that you could be a part of our, part of our organization. Very good. OK. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So my name is Jason Shedlock. I'm the executive director of the Maine State Building and Construction Trades Council. Um, the gentleman who was uh, here with me was Don Nazaroff. He's 
um, the uh, uh, head of the sheet metal workers here up in Maine. And uh, we also have another union brother, uh, Eric Sawyer, from uh, the Seychans Union uh, over here that we're having some conversations with. Tom Blackburn's always working, by the way. <laughs> so we kind of talked about him. I said, listen, I got a guy who's going to be able to help you with some things around the hall. You know, the Seychans Union should be involved. So we're, um, we're having that conversation. Uh, before I start, I, I just want to say, um, you know, we talk about this building being a gem in the city, and um, what I want to say is that you have a couple of actual gems that work here. Um, you know, uh, Tom Blackburn, I've uh, known, you know, for a number of uh, months now since I've been uh, involved in the building, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a real asset, and I know that you all know that, but I just want to kind of drive that home. And I got a chance to meet uh, Carolyn uh, Greenstreet as well, um, and her energy uh, around what she does um, with the building and in the community is um, is is not lost on me. And um, is it conversations that I've had around the city as well, and, and folks um, who appreciate it. So it's definitely something that I I know that you're proud of, but know that there is others in the community that um, that feel the same way. The Maine Charitable Mechanics Association um, is, is just honored to be in this building. Um, you know, as, as you know, and I'm learning, um, the reason for this building was to share knowledge, to build knowledge, and to learn and to train. And, um, you know, Tom kind of talked about some of the opportunities that we uh, were able to partner with, uh, some of our um, affiliate unions uh, we're able to partner with but you know the 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 thing is that you know that's kind of just as much for us as it is for you because these young men and women who had an opportunity to work in this building um, you know are training and learning their craft and they're now out in the community uh, doing their work because of the work that they did here um, and it's certainly something to be proud of. Everyone who I've met that have worked in this building has kind of worn it as a badge of honor uh, everywhere they go. And I certainly like to, to kind of say, hey, I, I work in that building. I didn't work on the building just yet, although I think Tom's got me uh, roped into doing a couple things moving forward, but, um, which, is, which is great. But um, so, you know, on, on behalf of the trades and, 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 and one of the things that that I know that Pam and, and Tom wanted was to have a number of, of um, our men and women who work with the trades here. Um, they're not here because they're working, um, which, is, which is a good thing. Um, if they weren't working, then I and a number of our um, uh, folks, uh, including uh, Don and Eric, wouldn't be doing their jobs, right, to, to have people uh, go out to work. So uh, John Napolitano, who um, is, is uh, on your board, um, sends his regrets to not being here. He's up in um, Hinkley right now, uh, dealing with some of his members and some, uh, a big job at the paper mill up there. So um, uh, he's not able to be here, but you know, we are honored to be able to be a part of this organization, um, you know, both as a tenant, but also as a partner as you grow. Um, I think the uh, individuals that you've selected uh, moving forward on your board, um, I had an opportunity to to look at that list and uh, I think is uh, phenomenal choices. And um, you know, with the leadership that you have, uh, both with your uh, executive committee and your superintendent and your staff, um, is, uh, the, the future is certainly bright and we are just honored to be a part of it. And um, we're here most days, so if anybody ever needs anything or has any questions uh, about some of the things that maybe we can do together, um, please feel free to reach out to us. So, and, and we very much thank you for the, for the honor um, and the plaque. We'll uh, display it very proudly right outside of our office so everybody who comes in can see that. Um, but it's certainly a two-way street, so we, we, uh, we appreciate everything that you do as well. So, thank you.